What's up guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a free logo for your business or your website. And in this video we're going to be using a website called Zarla, so Z-A-R-L-A dot com to go ahead and create a free logo. And Zarla is very easy to use and you can use it to create a logo in about five minutes or less. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So if you click the first link in the description, you'll be taken over to this same page and we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do here is just go ahead and enter your brand name. So whatever you've decided to name your business or your company or your e-commerce store or whatever it is you're creating a logo for, you can go ahead and just put that in here. So in this case, for this example, I'm gonna just use the cookie shop example that I've used a lot on this channel. So I'm gonna just go ahead and type in the name of the brand. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and just click create your free logo. And then once you do that, we can see here, it's going to ask us what is our logo for? And we can just go ahead and type in a keyword about our business. So let's say we were selling men's clothing. We could type in like men's clothing right here. And you can see that we see a lot of different autofill suggestions right here. Maybe if we were selling uh, watches or watch repair, or maybe if we were just selling generic clothing or if we were a restaurant or a bar or maybe it's photography or photo editing so you can see there's a bunch of different options right here and what this is going to do is it's going to provide zarla with some specific information to help give us some auto generated logo ideas for us to go ahead and use so in this particular case since we're going to be using a cookie shop as an example i'm just going to type in cookie and we can see they have an option for cookie right here so i'm going to go ahead and just use that so you can go ahead and just pick whatever keyword matches your business the closest and then we're going to go ahead and click next and then right here if you do have a slogan for your business you can put it right here to so put in the slogan in right here what it will do is it will just make the slogan show up in your logo so if you do want a slogan and you do want it to show up in your logo you can put it here but in this particular case i'm going to go ahead and leave it blank and then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then right here, we can see that we can either search for icons to fit our logo here, or we can have our icons chosen for us based on the information that we've provided. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this option, because as I'll show you later, we can go ahead and search for more icons later on. So I'm going to go ahead and click to choose icons right here. And then we can see it's going to give us a few example logos right here that we can go ahead and take a look at so you can go ahead and just scroll down and we can see that there's a lot of logos here that have been automatically generated based on the details that we went ahead and provided what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and pick one of the logos here that you like the look of and what you can actually do is customize the logo beyond what it is here so if you like what the logo looks like by default, then you don't have to customize it at all. But most of the time you might want to make a few tweaks. So we're going to go ahead and choose this logo right here and then click on customize icons, colors, and text. And then it's going to go ahead and bring up this editor right here. So this is the logo editor and it's pretty easy to use. We can see here on the left, we have the editor right here for options. So we have options to edit the icon, which is this the name, which is our name right here, and then the slogan, which we don't have right now, and then the colors of the logo itself, the background, layouts, and ideas. So we'll just go ahead and start from the top down here. So we can see right here that by default, this is the icon and text that we chose. We can see that we can change the colors of our icon right here. So if I were to go ahead and change color one, you can see that right now, we are currently using this shade of brown, but let's say I were to have changed this to black and click done. We can see that now this has changed to black and then all of these other icons has changed to black as well. However, in this case, I'm gonna keep it back at the standard shade of brown. Now, if you already have a specific color scheme in mind for your brand or business, this is where you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put in your two main colors right here. You wanna just go ahead and put in the hex codes and then no matter what icon you pick, it's going to change the colors to your hex codes. So then right here, we can go ahead and change the size of the icon. So we can see if I drag it like this, it makes the icon a lot bigger. Or if we keep it down here at two, we can see it's more proportionate with the text. So you can go ahead 
and edit that based on how you want it to look. And then right here, we can change the margin if we want as well. And what that does is that increases the amount of space between the icon and the text. So if we wanted to have a lot of space right here, we could see we could increase the margin. However, I'm going to make it smaller again because I think that looks better. And then down here, we can choose if we don't want to have an icon, we can just get rid of it and we can have just the text logo. But in most cases, you'll probably want to have the icon. And then right here, we can see that it's going to give us some other icon suggestions that are related to our current one that we could go ahead and switch our icon to if we wanted to. So we can just click on any of these and we can see that the icon itself will change right here. So you could look through here and see which icon you feel like looks the best for your brand. Uh, I like this one, so I'm gonna keep it right here. But let's say you wanted to go ahead and search for more icons beyond this. You can go ahead and search different keywords right here. So let's say you just wanted to search clothing. You can see that there's going to be a bunch of different icon examples for this that you could go ahead and use. And there's a bunch of different keywords you can go ahead and search for it. So it's going to depend on the type of business you have. So that's how you can edit the icons. And then if we come down here to the name, this is where we can change the name if we had a typo in it from earlier, but most likely it's already going to be correct. And then we can come in here to change the font styling if we want. So if we want to change the font to better represent our branding, we could go in here and look at the different fonts that they have available for selecting. And you could pick one that you feel like represents your branding more accurately. So let's say if I switch to this one, we can see that now the text has changed a bit and we could just go through here and preview a bunch of the different fonts until you find one that you prefer. So in this case, I'll just keep the font as Chewy right here and then go back once you've selected one. And then you can come in here and change the font color if you want the font color to be different. Now by default, it's going to be a color that's matching one of the colors from your logo. So it's going to match by default. However, if you wanna change this color, you can come in here and do that by changing the hex code or using the selector right here. Then we can come down here and change a couple of things about the text if we want. So we can make the text bigger by increasing its size. We can increase the spacing here in between the letters by dragging this up. And we can also increase the margin just like we did with the icon, which will just increase the space in between the two. So that's pretty straightforward. And then if we come down here, this is where we can go ahead and edit our slogan. So we didn't put a slogan in here, but let's say I just put in a sample slogan really quick. And then we'll see that now our slogan is also showing up as a part of our logo as well. So if you do have a slogan, you can edit this the same exact way that you go ahead and edit the name of your brand. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that for now. And then we can come down here to colors. So if you didn't already have any specific colors in mind, there are a bunch of recommended color palettes here in the color section that show up. So you can kind of go through and see, so we can see by default, we're using this color palette, but let's say we wanted to change to chocolate. We can see that it's going to change up the look of our logo. We could change it to this and we can see that it's going to change the colors of the logo icon and the text as well as the background. So you could go, so if you don't already have colors selected for your brand, you could go through here and try and experiment to see which color palette you like. And then if you find a color palette that you do like, then I would recommend using the same color palette throughout your website and all of your other branding assets as well. And then down here, we can go ahead and choose whether or not we wanna show the background or not. So in this case, with this color palette that we're using, we can see the background is transparent, but if I were to go ahead and change it to chocolate, we can see that the background is now being shown and we can change it right here. So these colors are essentially just the way to um, shortcut the process for color selection if you don't already know what colors you wanna go ahead and use. And then lastly, we can come down here to layouts here and we can change the layout of the logo. So we can see right here, we have the icon on the left with text on the right. We could change it to the icon on top and the text on the bottom. We can make it to where the icon is big on top and the text is on the bottom right here. I'm gonna keep it as the default for now. 
and then we can come down here to ideas as well and we can see that this is just going to show us a lot of the suggestions here from earlier so that's how you can go ahead and use the editor once you've finished going through all this and you're satisfied with the way your logo looks you can come over here and you can actually scroll down and you can preview what your logo would look like on a bunch of different things as you can see it here on a shirt on business cards on a phone on a coffee mug a drawstring bag etc you can see it here on social media and you can see that they show just your icon here without the text because you'll be using that um, a lot as well and this will give you an idea of what the logo is going to look like across the internet so once you've went ahead and completed the logo all you have to do is come up here to enter your email to go ahead and download the logo so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and then once you do that you can see that your logo package will have been sent to your email so you just have to go ahead and check your email to find the download link for your logo once you're in your email here you can see that you're going to have the email right here that says download your logos and then you just go ahead and click download logo files you come over here and you can just click download all and it's going to give you a bunch of different variations here so it's going to give you the original logo it's going to give you black and white white on black it's going to give you the transparent background and the black and white transparent and the white on black transparent and then we have a bunch of different logo files as well so we have standard logo files here and then we have versions for facebook we have versions for instagram we have versions for Twitter, YouTube, and we can see a bunch of different options right here. We can see we have a favicon as well. So this is another cool feature about using Zarla is it gives you a pre-formatted version of your logo for a bunch of different places that you'd be using it on the internet. So that's how you can go ahead and create a free logo in 10 minutes or less for your business. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.